Battle of the SDLP, and the good unionist man of Kilkee, Larry, is Harold McGee. How are the pair of you? <laughs> very well, thank you. I'm very pleased to tell the people out there that when I bring you two politicians, I bring you two of the best. If, uh, if these men could exemplify uh, what we want, they do exemplify what we want within council, a togetherness, a willingness to talk and a willingness to listen. You guys don't go to war too often, would you? Never. Never. That's Never. good. That's a good thing. Never. Not I, even about the name of yeah. the new guy. But I would pay a tribute to Harold. Harold would be a very reasonable, rational guy. <laughs> and he thinks before he speaks. That's important, isn't it? Yeah. How many politicians could we say that of? The wise ones, the successful <laughs> ones. Yeah. Yeah. I hadn't realised. You told me a moment ago we were talking about it. I didn't see it over the Christmas at all. Uh, that, 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 that the hotel in Kilkeel has gone. Yeah, it's very unfortunate, Rowan, yeah. It was, it was, I guess, a landmark, you know, and certainly if someone was looking for direction to Kilkeel, Kilmory Arms was your, was your destination. Absolutely. But, uh, it's very important, you know, I, I'm just recently there, I'd seen a couple of bus loads, one from Wales, one from Scotland, they stayed practically a week, and, it, you know, yeah. and you could see a bit of activity in the town with, with those, you know, and sad in the build-up just to, to, to Christmas that Absolutely. it had it closed just prior to Christmas, yeah. you know. I gather you can buy it for a pound. Are you going to pick it up yourself as a bargain? Uh, well, if I got it for the pound without the debt, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the debt is the trick. Take. That is That's the trick. But, it's, but isn't it dreadful, for goodness sake, lads, that here we are in an area of uh, supreme and sublime natural, nat natural beauty. Kilkeel, a jewel in the crown. One of the jewels in our crown. No hotel there now. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah, it's just the Kilmurray Arms in Kilkeel was the equivalent to the Canal Court in Uri. It was really the epicentre. It was the centre that kicked off things, that got things moving, brought people into the town, expenditure, a bit of life at night and all the rest. So it, it was very important uh, to, to Kilkeel, as is the uh, Canal Court in Uri. Yeah, you're leaving politics. That's right. You're I'm staying. I'm staying. Yeah. Yeah, old finished. dog for the hard young, road. Yeah. Right. Young men are staying. <laughs> young men are staying. Well, you, 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 I always believe there should be a there should be a genre of politicians. There should be a higher echelon, not like the almost like the House of Lords. That men like this, they don't die away. They they go on to this higher plane of handing down advice, yeah. sage like yeah. to the young fellas like yourself. You know that would be. Away from how will you be able to give up politics? Right, right. <coughs> I've always loved politics. I probably have loved politics since I was in the cot, as it were. You know, I've always been interested in people, in countries, in geography, and that. So I was always, I was not. It was natural for me to get involved, and it's vitally important to get involved. There are an awful lot of people out there in society who have difficulty in finding out things, finding out information, who does what, where do you go to get this problem solved. And that is the great opportunity of the local politician to listen to them people, to go to the various agencies and to do your best to solve the problem. Oh, yeah. And for you sometimes, it might look small to you, but to some people a small thing is a very important Big thing. Big thing indeed. Yeah. Harold, you're, as I say, you're staying, you're in the council of Newry Morn and Down. That's the new name. What's exciting you? What's, what's the fire in your belly about this at the moment? Well, the name or... Oh, no, or the, but the whole concept of, right. of going forward. Well, go, going forward, uh, obviously we're, we're, we're talking on a landmass here of 70 miles from, from the South Arm area to, to up to near Saintville, you know, it's, it's quite a scope. Uh, there's massive changes, particularly in the planning. It's one of the ones we're looking forward to, and I think the way it's <coughs> looking at it, it'll probably be on that planning committee, you know. And we will be now decision makers as opposed to consultees, which yes. is which is a major a major issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's you. Basically, it's important to have power because politics without power is only a it's Legoland. Yeah, I think you could almost say we're even infringing upon an MLA. Yeah, but the type of work and the and the mass of the area we have to cover. Even me as Morn, my Morn is now uh, two point two times bigger than it was mm -hmm. in the old council. Yeah. So a lot of lot of more work to do. More and work to do. Are you going to be fiscally recognised for that? Will they pay you more? Well, yes. Is that still up for, <laughs> there's, for there, there's a small amount coming. Some think it's a lot of money. No. But I can assure you, if you're doing your work properly, there's not much no, money you in see, it. You see, you'd be, you're on 24-hour call almost. Yeah, practically on 24-hour call. And if you, if you try to sort of switch the phone off, you've been asked, why are you switching yeah, it off? That's right. You know, that's, that's the that's ongoing right. thing. The issues that you face in Morn. Uh, I will ask you this about Newry, what you had to face as well, uh, John. But what issues are current in Morn? 
Well, I suppose, uh, obviously, the economy uh, is a major thing. Uh, inviting tourism in, now we've talked about the hotel, sadly it's gone down, but we need that tourism. We, we have the, the whole entire infrastructure there. We have the Moorn Mountains. We have the, the largest fishing port in Northern Ireland. Uh, there's plans there to expand the net to new uh, berthing keys and... and and that's all out there. The new group was set up there to oversee that, and mm. and by, by all of that, obviously, it, again, it's all down to money, money, money which is going to be difficult yeah. to get. We certainly well, need money. You've, you've got money already, and you've done good things. You have the Nautilus Centre, for example, in yeah. Kilkeel. It's yeah. attractive. There's cookery yeah. going on there. Yeah. There's lots of things happening. Yeah. And when a tourist comes into a into a, a coastal area, it's always nice to be able to go and see the boats. Yeah. Well, you're right about Nautilus Centre, yes, and I've been, I, I was just maybe three weeks ago, I had to make a visit to it with friends of, of my wife who had come from Wales, and they wanted to meet us, and that's where they wanted to go into and to see the Maritime uh, Museum there, and obviously you're looking out over the, over the boats, mm. and just, was it, a month ago, a brand new steel boat built by the Patterson family, who I know very well, it launched a new boat there, which mm. was exciting. There was oh, a crowd around the harbour like a fair day. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. to see it, yeah. And you still have boat building skills in Kilkeel. Yeah. You have the, yeah. the wood. If I wanted a wooden boat uh, sorted out, there'd be one or two men there could help you me. Could, you could still, obviously, the wooden, even the wooden uh, in any boat now, maybe, maybe a day in trade, particularly mm. in the fishing, uh, in any boat larger than that. But there is those that could do it. Aye, but we right. certainly have... Uh, Boat builders there, particularly in the steel. In the steel, yeah. well fit to do yeah. it. John, the other good thing that seems to me to be coming uh, onto the horizon now, I know there is a natural enough linkage beginning to occur between Kilkeel in the north and Green Ore in the in south. south. You're both aware of that, and you feel that's, a, a, that's progress. Yeah. yeah. Well, of course, the thing about Green Ore, it's a deep sea uh, berth there, you know. Uh, we always have a feeling, uh, sometimes uncomfortable, uh, regarding cargo and that. Uh, if green ore grows, then does warm point then go? No, the, no, up? that'll not happen. No, no we no, hope no, not, because no, warm no, point no, is growing. No. Warm point, I think, would would it be the third port in the north of it Ireland? Is, it is. I think it's it is. Second actually, now. The second uh, now, yeah. yeah. Second, and that's yeah. vital. Yeah. And their tonnage keeps climbing. Yeah. Well, the more obviously, the more that's coming in, the more that's uh, is, is spreading. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if there's uh, goods coming in, they're being sold. Mm. People are buying, and yeah. it's causing more and more employment, more employment. But I also think there's a kind of cultural link starting to develop between Kilkenny. Keel and Green well, so they're just a the commonality of seagoing of families yes, and the course. railway yeah. and all of that. Yeah. My own grandfather was, was a great seaman, was lost at 28 when the, the, two, sh the two ships collided, the, the, uh, the Connemara, Connemara and the Retriever. And the Retriever. Yeah. So he was lost at 28. So there is that seafaring effort right down there in Kilkeel, in Southdown and South Armagh there, yeah. up above their Newtown Clog and that, Bach, yeah. the Hollywoods and that. So, so there's, a great, uh, there's a great tradition of seagoing. Harold, the, the, we've, we've now named the council. Yeah. We spent 30,000 quid to tell them the name's all right as it is. <laughs> They're smiling yeah. consultants this morning. Yeah. Do you take people to task? Do you at times say, would you sort of hit the table and say, I want to ask, why have we spent 30,000 quid on this? This is not good spending of money. Or maybe it was good spending of money. Well, the question I would ask, were the councillors asked, did they want to spend 30,000 on renaming? We were never asked. You were never asked? Never asked. Did they want to spend 30 Which I thought it was your call. You would make the call to well, do it. Well, obviously, in the end, it was a political call. Mm. And something which could have been, if we had been asked of it, it was up to us, we were representing the people. We yeah. should have been going out and asking the people, what do they want? That's what the, the consultants, uh, McAdam was the organisers, who were in to do that. And, and they had gone out and they, they had met various people and they come up with 49 names. And then, obviously, I'm uh, Deputy Chair of the Governor's Committee. Uh, I've been at all of the meetings, and then I was on a subcommittee to, to have a look at it, and they, they narrowed the name down to six names, I think it was, and then eventually down to three names. Mm. So uh, I think it was Sleeve Lock, South Armagh, South Down, uh, and Mourn. Was that down, begins down to sound like three. a book, never, never mind yeah. a name, yeah. you know. That, 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 those were the three names down to, and then... And then uh, I suppose on the, on, the, on the 11th hour, Sinn Féin came in with a new name of Newry City, Mourn and Gullion. Now, which was quite a long name. Now, obviously, the McAdam, they, they wanted to have a name which was sort of rolls off the tongue, yeah. was short. Whenever yes. it would be uh, translated into Irish, 
the names were so long that the names had to be so small to get them fitted in and they weren't attractive. For example, the Morn, they were using the three letters of the Morn to highlight at them, which was O-U-R with R. So it was, it was our waste disposal, our, our whatever. It was our council, yeah. which would have went okay. But in the end, uh, obviously, Newry Morn and Down was in the fallback position should anything else not have worked. It's a strong name. It's, it's a strong name. It's there. Uh, it represents the three Morn, mm. uh, Newry, sorry, Newry City. Yeah. Important. Morn, we have the Morn Mountain Range. Yeah. Down. The county town of Down, it's all in there. And if yeah. we look, and we made our final decision just uh, that night, uh, we have three councillors mm. one from Newry, I'm from Morn, and the other one was from the Down area. So we were representing the whole team, we thought Absolutely. the name's the name yeah. there. But Newry is, you know, Gullion is bigger than any name. Gullion is beautiful, area of scientific importance, area of natural beauty. It doesn't need to be in the My view is it doesn't need to be in the name. <coughs> Yeah. That is stronger as it stands. Yeah. To me, the most natural thing from the very beginning was Newry, Morn and, uh, and Down. Because Newry really is it's a trickle-down situation. Newry, and I mean, I would argue personally myself that, say, French Kilkeel, uh, Refailand one time, Newton, Hamilton, Camler, Restarver, that whole area, you can nearly say it's all part of Greater Newry. Yeah. I give an example to my colleagues in Manchester, uh, Bury and Oldham and all those big towns right out of Manchester. They're all part of Greater Manchester. So and same, ca same can be said for Gullion. Right, and I made the point that Gullion and all those other towns, they're all part, they're the periphery of Newry. I mean, I said to Michael Carr, sure, half a warm pint are Newry people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So in other words, Look, we've spent a fortune over the years trying to push Newry. If Newry does well economically, the trickle-down factor, Everywhere. people from outside the whole lot are going to benefit. To, you, to use the, the, the Kilkeel phrase, a rising tide lifts all boats. That's it. Because if you post a letter to Cross McLean, it's Cross McLean, Newry County Down. Yeah, absolutely. Warm Point, Newry County Down. Yeah. So, that, so in other words, Newry encapsulates all those areas. And then down the new part of our area, the larger part of Down, which is vitally important too. So I could never understand. So I must say, honestly, I did a lot of lobbying left, right and centre for that name, Newry, Morn and Down. Now, do you yeah. ever sense, John, when you're lobbying, that you're baying at the moon, that you're, you're asking, well, give me your vote or uh, make it Newry, Morn and Down, whether you've ever been listened to or yeah. you're yeah. you've been put off with a do. good answer? Yeah, I think, uh, yes, I think you are listened to. I mean, if you're lobbying for anything, you must have the information. You must have the evidence. And if you've got the evidence, you've got the information. And you've got the rationale. Then you can put your case, and it's up to people either to accept or to reject it. And that's, I mean, that is, this is part of the democratic process. Mm. Now, I thought when I heard, you see, as an older councillor of the old council, we weren't consulted at all. We were on the outside all the time, mm. you know. But whenever I heard of the, co the consultants, I said, my goodness, what? But then there's the other factor. To get, a to, uh, to get this democratic, I mean, the awful thing about democracy, you must listen to people. Yeah, because in, yeah. an, in, in a democracy, if you don't listen, and if you're not delivering the goods, as it were, and rightly so, you can yeah, be kicked out, you, you can be put, and that's fine. So there was, it might be annoying at times, and it might be time, time wasting, you could argue, but you've got to take into consideration the views of the people. Of the people yeah. And Harl is probably right in that at the end of the day, the other names, some of them, they were so ridiculous. Ah, yeah, yeah. And to me, it was the most natural, Newry, Morn and, and Down. And you're building in the strengths of the past, Harold. Well, we're it. already there. Yeah, and yeah. no one is that, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and to have Morn, and I felt it ought to have Morn, and as I said to, to uh, another councillor who lives in Morn Point, uh, uh, Michael Carr, uh, I said to him, he more or less said, well, I'm not really in Morn. Well, I say, uh, Michael, just be careful when you go home this evening that you don't sit on a curb, but most likely if you look down, it'll be a Morn granite. <laughs> you're, you're there with <laughs> Morn all the way. Fantastic. But isn't the real challenge, <laughs> This Harold? is the wise man, yeah. Harold. <laughs> Harold, isn't the right. real challenge? We know we've, we've had difficulty in the old council with, with men of Newry getting on together. Mm -hmm. Now in the new diaspora, we're going to have to get on from... The, the west of South Armagh all the way through to St. Field or whatever. And Strangford yeah. Lock. And Strangford yeah. Lock is on the edge of yeah. it. Yeah. See, that's what I couldn't <coughs> understand. I couldn't understand why the down men weren't pushing it harder. Yeah. They, they were very, you know, they were keen enough to let it go. And, and particularly, I thought, you know, Sinn Féin, why so much was coming, Uri, Gullion, and then more. But 
Remember with the Sinn Féin men at, in the down, I thought yeah. they were keeping very quiet because mm. you have Cross Gar out to Rue Allen. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. And, yeah. and that wouldn't go to be in it. And I thought it was unfair. Yeah. You know, mm. and with my own party colleagues saying, but you're, I'm not going to be in this here. Mm. So you can see where we're coming from. And I think, I know it's a pity this money has been spent. And it's not all spent on that yet because at the end of the day, <coughs> there has to go uh, at the brand and ah, the yeah, logo, yeah, which will be a bit of work done yeah, on yeah, that again. And I'm right. sure that'll yeah. be another yeah. ordeal. But it, it would have been, and this is a credit to more and more and men and women. How could we not? We we've we've we have the kingdom of Morn. Yeah. How could we have ditched Morn? Yeah. We couldn't have done yeah. it. You couldn't have done it. No, uh, you know, and I think that. honestly, you know, to 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 rename now, uh, Sleeve Lock had been mentioned. It was a strong contender at the start. Oh, he's dumb. Name. But, but why why Bran the whole of the Morn area and beyond? Because Morn, we have been trying to sell Morn. We've been selling Morn boot for 100 years, 50 years, and particularly the last 10 mm, years. Mm, and and Morn is ready, known, more known across the world. This is so course. to come in with a name, and I couldn't have been a better time around Christmas time, yeah. sitting around a table, and somebody would say, What are you calling the new council? And I give them a suggestion, sleeve lock. That's right. Just, what, what is that? Where's that Where at? is it? Every, every, no, yeah. you spend your time explaining. Yeah, you would surely. You would surely. No, we got it. Boys, thanks for coming in. We wish Thank you well. You. It's a Enjoy pleasure. your retirement. Looking yeah. forward to it. Uh, no <laughs> doubt you'll be a professor at the University of the Third Age, uh, twiddling your toes and no so. more lobbying. I that don't think so. Oh, you never know. You're still in the background. Uh, ah, and you're still listening. <laughs> John, you know? John could be my consultant as well, far no, as the health issues are concerned. Uh, 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 thanks very much, John. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.